Are you sick of paying trading commission fees? Or are you sick of paying conversion fees every time you trade US stocks? In this video, you will learn about the recent changes to the trading commission fees at National Bank Direct Brokerage. So if you want to see if National Bank is the right brokerage for you, make sure you watch this video till the end. What is National Bank Direct Brokerage? It's an online full service investment platform used to buy, sell, and hold many different investments. This platform is owned by National Bank of Canada, which is the sixth largest bank in Canada and the largest bank in Quebec. Their platform is similar to the other big five banks and Questrade. It offers the same investments, stocks, ETFs, options, mutual funds, bonds, debentures, and GICs. They also offer the same account types, non-registered, TFSA, RRSP, margin, Canadian dollar accounts, US dollar accounts, and more. This platform offers real-time quotes, watch lists, alerts, research tools, analyst tools, and an advanced trading platform called MarketQ with four levels of market data. One of the cons with the platform is that there's no app, although you can access trading on your mobile device through a browser. Now for the best feature of National Bank Direct Brokerage, they now offer commission-free trading. Stocks and ETFs, Canadian or US, zero commissions, with no minimum required. So if you wanted to buy a $1 stock, you can with no commission fee. You can also trade options with no commission fee, but you still need to pay the $1.25 per contract on options. Minimum fee of $6.25 or a maximum fee of $19.95 when the transaction value is less than $2,000. They also have zero commissions on debentures and mutual funds on most funds. The only condition with zero commission fees is that the trade must be done electronically, meaning through their online platform. So there will be a commission fee when placing a trade over the phone with a broker, but we're not boomers, so we don't do that. So why is this so great? Well, TD and Scotia charges $9.99 per trade. RBC and BMO charges $9.95 per trade. And CIBC charges $6.95 per trade. If you make a few trades a month, this can add up very quickly. And if you only have a small portfolio, your returns won't be as good as they should be. These online platforms also all have annual or quarterly fees. Good news though, they can be waived. Some are easier to waive than others. But now the easiest to waive is National Bank. Hold at least $20,000 in assets or have an InvestCube account. Or if you qualify for offers for professionals or qualify as a young investor, age 30 or younger. Or the easiest way to waive the annual fee, make at least five trades in one year. Note the year runs from June 1st to May 31st. Since there are no fees on commissions, you can make five trades in a few minutes without any cost to you. Annual fees for online brokers are usually $100 a year. So getting this wave can increase your total return, especially in the long run. There's also another benefit to having zero commission fees with National Bank, free access to MarketQ. Well, it's not free, but fees can be waived with a certain amount of trades. MarketQ is an advanced trading platform with real-time streaming. With MarketQ, you can access market data with four different levels. This market data ranges Ranges from $39 to $148 per month. The pricing will decrease with a certain amount of trades. To get the fees completely waived with level one, you need 10 trades or more per month. Level two, 40 trades or more per month. Level one with TSXV and level two with TSXV, 100 trades or more per month. Now, most brokers will waive their fees for their market data as well with a certain amount of trades, but consider how much you need to pay for commissions. For example, with TD Direct Investing, you need 30 trades or more per quarter just to get level one real-time streaming. That's 120 trades per year. You'll end up almost paying $1,200 in commission fees. This being all said, MarketCube may not be suitable for active traders. Although it's advanced trading platform, it's nowhere close to being as advanced as a platform like Interactive Brokers, which is is the only platform I recommend for day traders. MarketQ is more suitable for investors who want more than just snap quotes. National Bank Direct Brokerage also offers Decision Plus, which are three different investment tools, MarketGurus.tv, MarketVision Plus, and Trader Plus. All three tools combined usually cost $190 per month. This can also be completely waived with 50 or more trades per month. And according to a National Bank representative, they have no plans to change any of the fee waivers. So you can enjoy National Bank Direct Brokerage with no commission fees, no annual fees, free market data, and free research tools. Okay, so what's the catch? 
Seriously, there's no catch. For those who have tried Wealth Simple Trade, knows there's a catch with their zero commission fees. The 1.5% currency conversion fee combined with no USD accounts. So let's say you bought $1,000 worth of Tesla. You would pay $15 to convert Canadian dollar to US dollar. Then let's say you wanted to sell Tesla and buy another US stock. Since you can't hold US dollar, you need to pay the conversion fee once again to convert to Canadian dollars. And then again, if you want to buy another US stock. This may not seem like a lot, but imagine if you bought 20 $20,000 worth of Tesla. That's $300 in conversion fees that you need to pay over and over again when you trade US stocks. But with National Bank, you can have US dollar accounts where you do the conversion once and just hold US dollar in the account and use it whenever you trade US stocks. Although National Bank's conversion fee is still around 1.3%, there's no need to keep converting your currency every time you trade. And actually, you can avoid the conversion fee altogether by using Norbit's Gambit, which is a cheaper method to convert currencies. Norbit's Gambit it cannot be used on Wealthsimple, but can be used with National Bank Direct Brokerage. And although Wealthsimple Trade is the first platform in Canada to offer zero commission fees, National Bank is the first Canadian bank to offer zero commission fees, plus they have no catch. Now we have two platforms in Canada with zero commissions. Will the other banks follow? In the States, most of the major online brokers have zero commission fees. This movement was started by Robinhood, which is the US equivalent to Wealthsimple. Then the other big brokers followed, Interactive Brokers, TD Ameritrade, E-Trade, Fidelity, etc. So will this happen in Canada? I personally think it will happen. Eh? Eventually. <laughs> BMO pretty much stated that it is possible for them to consider zero commissions depending on clients' needs, but RBC straight out said they won't be considering zero commissions. I believe if one of the big five banks or even Questrade offers zero commissions, the rest will follow. So should you wait for your favorite broker to offer zero commissions? I didn't. I opened an online account, which was quick and easy, but linking my bank account to deposit money was a bit of a dick around. That being said, most of the other banks are too. I plan to use National Bank for long-term investing and some odd swing trades. I usually make at least two, three trades a month, so not having commission fees will save me a good chunk of change. And if the other banks start to eliminate commission fees, I would do my research and switch again if it makes sense. If you wish to transfer your account to National Bank, this includes cash or assets, National Bank will refund the transfer fee the other institution charges you. The only condition is that the transfer must be worth $20,000 or more. And the refund covers up to $135 plus tax. If you're transferring from Wealthsimple Trade, no need to worry about a transfer fee as they don't charge one. Doing a transfer isn't always necessary. The main reason why people do a transfer is so they don't lose their contribution room in their registered accounts. But if this doesn't apply to you, you can easily liquidate your account and deposit your money to National Bank with no fee. Also keep in mind, there might be a deregistration fee when closing a registered account. So who is this brokerage for? National Bank Direct Brokerage is for any investor who is sick of paying commission fees and constantly paying conversion fees. This brokerage is suitable to trade not only Canadian stocks and ETFs, but also US stocks and ETFs, even options. This brokerage is for the investor, not the trader. An active trader may not get the tools and price execution they want with this platform, but this is more than enough for the buy and hold investor, and even more perfect for the dollar cost averaging investor. Instead of buying stocks in one lump sum to save on commission fees, now you can buy as little as you want, as frequently as you want, because commission fees isn't a factor. This brokerage Brokerage is also for the investor who wants more from their platform, like research tools, market data, and more investment options, like options. A platform like Wealthsimple is pretty basic and isn't really considered a full service broker like National Bank. My final thoughts? Just because National Bank has no commission fees, that doesn't make it the best brokerage. It just means it's the cheapest. There's a lot of other factors to consider when choosing a broker, like ease of use, convenience, customer service, reliability, research tools, market data, execution speed, exchange rates, margin rates, etc. The cheapest platform isn't always the best. It will depend on your trading or investing style and your personal needs and values. So make sure you check out the other brokers to see if another one suits your needs more. But National Bank's move to eliminate commission fees is still a big deal. Hopefully the other online brokers follow 
or at least improve their platforms to become more competitive. As Canadians, we always get the shitty end of the stick, mainly because we have a much smaller market than the US. We choose a shitty investment platform, bank, or credit card and stay with them, either because we don't know any better or we just lazy. But if we could all change products to the best one, the other products will have no choice but to improve and compete for our business, which puts the power back into the client's hands. I'm not only switching to National Bank because of the zero commissions and how much money I'm saving, I'm also switching because National Bank is changing the tone of all online brokers in Canada and I'd like to be a part of that. If you want to continue learning about other online brokers in Canada, check out one of the videos on the right of the screen. If you got any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep making money moves. Peace.